So this week you've asked for a Jaffa Cake inspired Easter egg. So that's exactly what we're going to do because it's What do you want Wednesday? So I do have an idea for how this Easter egg is going to pan out. Thinking, splat it with, with orange, line it with dark chocolate. Sorry, it's all the dark chocolate haters, but that's what Jaffa Cake has on it. And then fill it with an orange gel, a bit obviously an orange bit on the Jaffa Cake. And then, because we can't really, because this Easter egg's going to have to last, so we can't put like cake in it. But I'm going to make a golden chocolate ganache to get the cake vibe in there. And then we're going to top it off with gold chocolate. And I'm thinking that's going to be the Jaffa Cake inspired egg. So let's do it. Le bull, le spatula, for le ganache. Golden ganache. So we want some gold chocolate. Actually, I'm going to heat the cream first. If this were to win, we'd make the ganache slightly differently to make it last a bit longer. But by adding like a little bit of sugar, glucose, things like that. But um, for the sake of this video, we will not do that. So I'm just going to do the cream first. This is how you make a standard ganache at home. So, yeah. So we've got a fresh cream here from Acorn Dairies. Put a bit of that in. And what we're going to do is heat that in the microwave for probably about a minute, a minute and a half and then we're going to assess its temperature, see what the dealio is, because then you pour your chocolate into there, stir, 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 let it melt in. I'm going to plug it in as well. Oh, we need a microwave plate. <laughs> no one's looking or laughing. There, a minute and a half. gonna get the gold chocolate that's what we're gonna do so this is our caramelized white chocolate you can see the color of it here and two percent of the sugar is caramelized in this chocolate which is why it's this color right. <laughs> is that when Michael swung a pipe in background yeah mm. <laughs> looking at those lights up there makes me think of Yo ho, yo ho, because it's all steamy. <laughs> Needs to go hotter. Hot cream. <laughs> so now I'm adding the gold chocolate into the hot cream. There's totally a recipe for this, but I work by eye quite a lot. I'm gonna have to stop doing that. I promise you for the next while, I'll have weighed out things for you. Right. It's just kind of want a half and half ratio. Well, there we go, see? It's starting to come together now. Bit of butter off there. We need a small amount of ganache. Add that in. And then we're gonna get the hand blender and emulsify it and uh, give it a try, give it a taste. Right. Let's get it. Oh, we need a plug point. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo, she's really going today, boys. Oof. So now I'm just emulsifying the ganache, Ooh, which is a fancy name for bringing it all together, which will make it nice and shiny and smooth. You can already see how it's changed. You know what that looks like? The bottom bit in a Rolo yogurt. Be nice. Give it a try. Mm. Really delicious. Definitely gonna get that. It does taste like the bottom bit in the yogurt, but nicer, it does taste nicer. I've cracked your secret, Rolo. Huh. Won't be buying those yogurts anymore. I'll be emulsifying my own. So we're gonna put that in a piping bag. I accidentally bought these spatulas once thinking we're not reading the size of them. So now we have a few of them. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. Right, so that's one filling. Done. Good slapper. Just need this, pectin and caster sugar. That's it. Does anyone know the recipe off by heart? 
Yeah? So you're lucky there. Oh, great. Okay, good. So one of them is yeah. a kilo of sugar. Yeah. And How much pectin? Six, or for that, it'll be 40 grams of pectin. 40 grams? And 20 grams. That seems like a lot of pectin. That's how much it is like. Is it? 40, 40 grams. grams of pectin for that much and uh, 20 grams of citric acid. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so put that in, which is blood orange puree. It says puree. It just looks like juice to me. I mean, that's juice, isn't it? You drink that. We're going to weigh out a kilogram of sugar, 40 grams of pectin, and 20 grams of citric acid. <clears throat> kilogram ish, which is a Steffi measurement. So. There we go, right. Yep, right. Just going to mix that all together, because otherwise you will you'll get clumps. It's like the pectin all clumps together. But I, I honestly think the sugar and citric acid, once it's all mixed together, like it helps like separate all the what would be clumps, stops it from doing that. So, hoy that all in there. Give that a sloppy mix. Where are the thermometers? Just realised I need one. There we go. Right. And I believe it is 108 or 104. I'm just going to check. <laughs> I think it's 108. Go to get yourself to get... 104. 104. So, I reckon this will take... 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, just got to keep a really close eye on it and make sure you keep stirring it. Well, <laughs> goodness me, I took my eye off the ball there. We're good. I'm just going to turn it down, though. That's very, very living on the edge. <laughs> you know how I said you got to, like, stir it a lot as well? I didn't. <laughs> oh, Steffi, Steffi, Steffi. So the gel is now ready, ready for... Um, putting into here and pour it into this bowl here. It's just like really, really hot. And I'll give it a blend as well. It smells very orangey indeed. This is so hot. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there to set. And that is probably gonna have to be left for the day, I think. And then piped in tomorrow. But that's all right, we can do that. We've got the, so we've got the gold and the gel. Fantastic. <laughs> this is the next day. <laughs> Mind you, that is the texture it goes into Jaffa cake. I literally feel <laughs> like a surgeon. <laughs> like, and there's the bowl, and you go with the organ. <laughs> I might have to warm it up. <laughs> I think I'd maybe go with a bit less pectin next time <laughs> and to be fair according to the recipe it was but nah that needs reducing that oh no 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 <laughs> now that it's in a piping bag it's a really good consistency to actually pipe so i'm happy with that and now i'm going to do our um decoration now on the egg molds I'm going to sack off the toothbrush, definitely. Ooh, that looks lovely. To splat the mould with the orange cocoa butter. Ooh, that is too much. There we go. Okay, cool. Ooh, look at that dark chocolate. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Looks lovely. Yeah. Sloppy. Sloppy. Uh, this isn't tempered, so I'm going to seed it down. Because we didn't need the machine on today, so... Yeah, I'm just going to seed it down. just cooling the chocolate down now uh, by adding callets to it. Callets are chocolate buttons. I don't know why we have to refer to them as callets all the time. Because then I'm like, do people know what a callet is? 
It's a bun. Oh, look at those bars. There's one in uh, Shields as well. That's tempered. I think it is. And just to reiterate, we are using dark chocolate, so don't come at me using dark chocolate. Oh, I would get it if it was milk. Um, Jaffa cakes have dark chocolate on it, so that's why. Yeah, I like the way they look. I like to pipe the orange gel in first, just for the layers. The layers, as Mary Berry would say. Right, so I'm going to pipe the orange gel in now. Okay, gold ganache. Ready to pipe the gold ganache. smoothing it out because I've bloody overfilled them. <laughs> right, I'm going to top these off with gold chocolate now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's go and get some gold chocolate. I think the contrast of the dark and the gold's going to look really nice as well. Yeah. Probably needs it in the fridge for about half an hour, I reckon. Oh, ah. <laughs> the eggies are already. Oh, let's just give it a little tap. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at the cocoa butter on it. I'm really happy with them. We'll have to try one. Yeah. Cool. Right. Gonna chop it up. It's better. <gasps> so you can see the orange gel in there and the gold ganache. Half and half. Happy with the ratio? Yes. But what's in the taste? Should we check it out? <laughs> oh yeah. That is like a draft cake. Yeah? That is draft cake. Do you like it? Oh, you love draft cakes? Oh, good. Really nice. Good. I prefer them draft cakes. You prefer two draft cakes? Oh, yeah. I don't really. I would never buy a pack of Jaffa cakes. Would you? No. But that's, uh, yeah, that's really nice. Happy with, happy, 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 happy. Right. So if you can comment what you would like us to make next week in egg form, um, then we might choose it and we might make it. And then at the end of the month, it will go to a vote. And um, if it wins, we will then sell it in March. <laughs>